want to show you guys this line. Everyone's got to stand six feet apart. That's the new rule. Six feet distance. So you have to wait in this long line. This is just to get groceries in one store. One grocery store. And this is just a small store. Everyone's keeping this six feet distance so they don't get infected with the unknown Southern California, it's a cloudy day, but people are still out and about and getting things done even though there's a full lockdown. They want everybody just to stay home and not do anything. So also I, I wanted to mention, you know, part of the reason I started my, my channel is because I think growing organic is not not just about growing your own vegetables, but about growing organically without the use of chemicals and other things that will decrease your immune system. So, if you're not using natural um, organic fertilizers and food for your plants, you're giving them like you know, say like a Miracle Grow or something, things like that. That are just you know, you just drop some crystals on there and mix it with water and then voila, you know, you have these big plants. Most likely you're going to be ingesting you know, some of those chemicals that are in that, those fertilizers. So the whole point is getting back to nature, the, nat the, the ways, you know, nature is intended to grow things and it's, and once you realize how it all, all the microbiology and microbes and beneficial bacteria and fungi all work together you, you'll never kind of go back to the old ways as well and, and then once you start eating the food from these gardens you'll taste the difference between the food you're growing and the supermarkets it's such a big difference and you'll just not want to go back once you try you know your own carrots your own lettuce your own apples Basically everything is going to taste better when you grow them organically the right way from home. So again, we're here um, just taking a little walk. March 20th, California is under complete lockdown. You can see that the world is still continuing on. People are still working, construction still happening. I think there's just a lot of people in panic right now and and this is gonna have an economic impact. Uh, I would think all the, all the news media telling you all these different things, all these people are telling, saying different things and what it comes down to is um, you can't control everything in the world there's some things that are out of your control that are bigger than us. We can't control the entire economy or what's gonna happen from the day to day. So you have to control, what you can do is be in control of uh, certain aspects of your life, like what you eat, what you put in your body, uh, what you watch on television. what you're eating, uh, what you're growing in your yard, what, what type of fertilizer you're putting on your plants. So I'm out on this little nature walk here, kind of in the suburbs, and uh, I saw all these yellow flowers, and I was like, wow, that's pretty nice. It looks nice in the morning when the sun's coming up and all this yellow flowers are popping out with all the green foliage. It looks like a lawn almost, like a trimmed lawn with yellow flowers. And then the more I looked at this, I realized these are actually, I think they're dandelions. Dandelions are actually a medicinal plant. There's actually, you can get dandelion tea, um, dandelion supplements. You can research it yourself on the uh, internet, but I'm pretty sure that these are anti, anti-viral. Antibacterial. 
just go ahead and pick one of these here. Let's get a bigger one. Now, how can you tell if they're a dandelion? Well, you can you can tell by the flower. The flower is uh, obviously just a little yellow ball. And then the leaf pattern's kind of got little spikes in it, you can kind of see. If you look on the internet, you could probably um, find some pictures of it and then what I usually do is I'll pick the plant and just see if this is the right plant. I can actually use this as a medicinal herb if needed. All right, well, I better get back to the day and we'll do another episode, see how this thing pans out. But uh, stay safe, everybody, and we'll see you on the next episode. Make sure you subscribe, comment below, tell me about what you think about this whole situation.